Okay, can we start? Uh, 20 seconds, yes. Right, so if you're afraid and understood, considering that he's taking speech and trying to begin. Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Nadeem, one of the sur surgical exam candidates. Uh, may I please first confirm your name and age, please? I'm John, doctor. I'm 56 years old. Okay, John, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm supposed to ask you a few questions regarding your condition. So uh, can you please tell me yourself uh, about your condition? Okay, thank you, doctor. Doctor, um, it's it's. Uh, I, I was really worried when I saw blood, blood from my in my water works. Okay, I saw blood in my water works, doctor, and this has been on for the past um, five weeks, doctor. It started last month, doctor. So you mentioned that uh, you you have blood in water works. Uh, when did you notice it first? Doctor, like I told you five weeks ago, doctor. Okay, fine. And uh, is it continuous? Is it daily, every time, or it is on and off? Doctor, anytime I go to urinate, I I have this 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 problem, doctor. Every and time. it is okay. And it is without without any pain. Doctor, or the pain it? I have the pain I have is usually on this side, doctor. This my uh, this left side. This left side. No, this okay. side, doctor, this side, doctor. Okay, fine. And uh, 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 do you see any clots, uh, like uh, uh, rounded shape blood clots or threaded blood clots? Uh, yes, okay. occasionally, mm -hmm. doctor. Occasionally, I see. Occasionally. occasionally. I see, yeah. And uh, is the blood uh, fresh or old, like doctor? old clots? Doctor is fresh blood. Doctor, I'm scared. I'm scared. Doctor, am I am I going to die? Doctor, am I going oh, to I, die? Uh, I really. I've been passing uh, blood for five weeks. Doctor, am I going to die? Doctor, I, I really understand your concern. They are genuine, but uh, please, uh, uh, we we can have a few more questions uh, in order to read the conclusion. Okay. Is that right, with you? Okay, yeah. Okay. Fine. Thank you. So, uh, can you please tell me? Uh, uh, is it uh, always mixed with the urine or does it come at the start of urine? Doctor, it, it's mixed with my whole urine. It comes out with the whole urine. It's pure blood, doctor. Okay. Blood. Okay, and, and right you now, I'm very it? tired, doctor. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that. Can you please tell me uh, if you are losing weight in the last few weeks? You lost some weight? Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. I do. And uh, now, uh, you said that you are feeling tired, so you are feeling always weak nowadays. Yes, doctor. And any loss of appetite? Doctor, doctor, I used to eat three times, but now I even the best food, I, I wouldn't want to eat it, doctor. Okay. And is there any... Uh, what I say? And uh, any temperature? Have you ever noted any temperature? In the last no, few weeks? No, 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 doctor. No, no, no fever. I don't have temperature, doctor. No fever, doctor. Fine. And how is your uh, water works? Like you said, there is some problem. So uh, is it uh, disturbing you? Like it's always coming with uh, with an urge to uh, rush to the washroom or you can hold it? Doctor, since, since, I, since this thing started, my urine is okay. But the only problem is that blood I have. There's no other problem in my water works. I, when I go, I have the urge. I go, it is all blood, doctor. And there is no burning? Uh, no, doctor. In the... No, doctor. Okay. Except the pain I showed you here, doctor. Pain, yeah. Pain on this okay. side. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. And uh, can you please tell me if there is uh, any uh, problem uh, with headaches or uh, dizziness? No, doctor, I don't have headaches, doctor. Okay, that's fine. And there uh, uh, any uh, you know feeling of freezing heart or chest pain 
No, 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 doctor. I'm fine. Or cough. I'm fine. Cough with fever. Okay. No and cough, any cough, change of bowel habits? No, doctor. My 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 back passage is good, doctor. Okay, fine. And uh, can you please describe the pain as well, which you mentioned? Like, uh, is it? The pain it... is just the pain is just here. Very annoying pain, doctor. Very annoying. Even right now, is there, doctor? It's is just it... as if there is a load there, doctor. Okay, is it uh, at the same place always, or does it also move around to other place? The 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 pain, like I told you, it just comes this whole place. It moves from here. Like this down, this place I'm showing you, doctor, and this left side down to my lower abdomen. What are the things which aggravate it, uh, doctor? Nothing. I cannot tell Any anything. Can... Anything? Any activity? No, doctor. Doctor, I cannot. I cannot ascribe anything to it, doctor. Okay. And uh, any alleviating thing like medications or? Does it alleviate by itself? When I take, when I take paracetamol, just little pain, little relief, and that's all. And the pain will still be there, doctor. Okay, thank you. And uh, can you please tell me uh, any history of uh, past surgery or any comorbid like diabetes, hypertension, or heart disease? Yeah, doctor, I, I, I have been seeing my GP and he's been giving me medications for hypertension for a long time now. Yes. And any blood thinners? No, 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 doctor. Okay, oh, any family history? You. Can you present your history now? Okay. Sorry, I could not finish. So I have taken history of 56-year-old gentleman who is uh, uh, also hypertensive and has uh, this history of uh, painless gross hematuria uh, with occasional clots and uh, also history of loss of appetite and weakness. Uh, there is also pain uh, which is uh, uh, radiating uh, down on the left side, but uh, elevated with paracetamol. And, uh, so what are your differential diagnosis? Uh, it seems to be uh, bladder cancer as uh, uh, it's painless hematuria. Then maybe see a prostate or a bladder stone or benign prostatic hyperplasia. And, How do you uh, intend to manage the patient? Uh, I'll uh, uh, take the missing history and also examine the patient and uh, we'll go for investigations, including baseline complete blood picture, uh, PTA, PTT, urine culture, routine examination, urine, ultrasound, uh, uh, KUB, and if needed, then uh, cystoscopy. Flexible cystoscopy to so see. What are the treatment options available treatment that you can offer to this will, patient? That will depend upon uh, st uh, staging and MDT discussions. If it is uh, stage one, two, then TRBT and radical cystectomy. And uh, if it is uh, locally advanced or uh, metastatic, then we will go for chemo radio uh, uh, therapy or palliative yeah. treatments. Okay. Chemo, radio, and immunotherapy. Okay, one second, four seconds, 13 seconds left. All right, so can you tell me if time would have allowed you, how would you have completed your history? How, how many? If time would have allowed you, how would you have completed your history? But would you have asked? Okay, uh, I would have asked about family history of cancers, any history of travel history. Uh, smoking and other uh, medications like blood thinners and concerns, ideas, and uh, expectations. expectations of the patient. Yes, yes. Uh, ex patient's ex uh, occupation is already given there. Yes, so occupation no, as well. yes, it's already given there, so th which is very important factory worker and smoker. So, all right, okay. Can uh, can Dr. Fabian, uh, you give the feedback first, please? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for the attempt. You really you tried, but um, I tried to. I was trying to, like uh, Mom said, you didn't ask for the risk factors: factory worker and smoker. I wanted you to push this. Um, I was looking at a situation whereby you can think about renal cell carcinoma or bladder cancer so that we we'll move in that direction. 
I will show you this direction, my loin. This patient have hypertension. This patient have hematuria. So, um, but generally, for the fact that he didn't complete the other components, that's why one cannot really say what the problem is now. Of course, obviously, it's not um, it's not from the prostate. Because when you asked me, I told you I don't have any other problem apart from the blood that I'm passing. Yeah, it's, it's okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, for me, like uh, when I'm the Canadian so patient tells you about your condi about the conditions, like you don't say, okay, that's fine. You say, I'm really sorry to hear this. Like you have to show empathy to the patient's conditions and uh, symptoms or problems. So every time a uh, patient told you, you said, okay, that's fine. Because it was a surprise yes. patient. And uh, you were maybe not prepared, but uh, in any kind of history taking examination, what they want, they want you to show sympathy, okay? Nothing much you can do, but you can say, I'm really sorry, really sorry to hear that. Yeah, at a point, ma'am, thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. At a point, I wanted to, but I just felt I waste his time. When he was saying, that's fine. I wanted to say, doctor, you mean that is fine? That I'm, I'm yeah. worried? Okay. <laughs> it is not yes. fine to have that in the urine. You know, it's not fine. It's never fine. So it's yes. always alarming. It's concerning, Sorry. you know. So, Sorry. Uh, Sorry. yeah, they are, uh, why I'm saying it, so that next time you'll remember, you have to say it. Mm -hmm. And yes. then uh, you did not ask about the history of trauma because it's trauma. a male patient mm -hmm. and blood in urine. So there could be trauma as well. And since you were not prepared, so some of the questions were repetitive, like mm -hmm. that could have been uh, saved if uh, you were well prepared. And yes, and you asked in line of flow all the questions. So some of the questions could have, instead of uh, yeah. asking again, again, you could have been, yes, saved. Okay, one more I was thinking. Thank you for the feedback. Yes, and for the pain. Yes, uh, because uh, you remembered, because you in the middle said what more I asked. And I was thinking, okay, because here two presenting complaints are there. One is blood, one is pain. So once you were asking about the pain, you asked mm. very well, where it radiates, everything. And I think you asked the patient. Uh, no, if you ask the patient to grade it between 1 to 10, the pain. Mm -hmm. No, uh, this right. was something you could have asked. And you did ask if patient mm. has any constitutional symptom like fever and the weight loss and appetite loss. And so that was very well covered. You could have asked about the nocturia. If patient wakes up in the middle of night and mm. has the problem. You did ask about the frequency. Yes. And maybe stream it's you can one. ask about if it is poor or it's normal or... Uh, does the bleeding mm. occur in the beginning or at the end or there's so much more could uh, have been asked so yeah the next time hopefully yes thank yeah. you thank anyone you. else